Hey guys, it's me. I know it's been a while since I've actually made a long video, but I know this one's going to be a long one. Um, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving was very eventful, let's just say. And honestly, I've had better Thanksgivings, but... Um, a couple days ago, my grandma's dog named Taylor, she's a uh, Sheltie, a very cute dog, um, came in from going potty outside and lost all feeling in her bottom half. She had no more motor control of her back legs and she could not control her bladder or bowels and she ended up being bedridden for two days. During Thanksgiving, we basically had to cancel our family get-together dinner plans because of everything that went on. Um, I know for all of you this may seem like it's being over the top because it is a pet, but my grandma has dementia. And I think that's what makes it difficult because she kept forgetting what was wrong with her dog and we had to keep reminding her because she couldn't remember and um today she made the decision that taylor had to be put down and throughout the day i've been talking to her and trying to tell her that she made the right choice so the dog wouldn't continue suffering and And there was a point where my grandma literally broke down in my arms. Like, she literally broke down. And for, like, I guess I never really understood until now the actual scariness of dementia. For a while it was like... I was talking to <clears throat> a child almost because she was crying and I kept trying to be assuring and she kept being like, okay, okay, like, like she was understanding that she had to be strong, but she couldn't understand why her dog had to go the way she did. And the most difficult part was the fact that I could not explain it to her without her forgetting. You know, I've gotten to the point in my life where I've developed a good understanding for people. And I've developed a sense in the back of my mind that everything comes to an end eventually and everyone dies. I've accepted death because it is a part of life. But what scares me most is seeing somebody decline like that mentally. I think having someone's memories taken from you is the most difficult thing. And I'm sorry, I'd like, I think you reworded that wrong. Having somebody's memories taken from them is a difficult thing because we're some of our memories. Without our memories, who, how are we to be the people we are? And I think having that taken away kind of robs you of who you are. And I just, I, I, I don't know why I'm making this video, I don't know why I'm saying all of these things, but I just felt that it was necessary. Because I understand something now that I never used to. And I understand how difficult dementia is, and I have the utmost empathy for those who have loved ones who suffer from this condition.